Hi guys! Welcome to my first YouTube video ever. My name is Yami and I will be making all types of videos in this channel. I'll be doing my makeup one day, I'll be talking about skincare, um, workout videos, the clumsy videos, that's just like my regular everyday life. <laughs> and I don't know, just videos that make me happy. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing um, in this channel. So. I'm super excited today for this very first video ever. Um, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my everyday look, and I'm gonna be answering some questions that I found online. So let's get started. <laughs> Is that what YouTubers say? Let's get started. <laughs> so I first start with my eyebrows because I always like to perfect them, make sure that they're twin sisters. If not, they're, not, they're at least second cousins. So I want to make sure that I perfect those first and then I go from here and then everywhere else. So I'll just, I'll show you. I also found this tag. It's called the 50 questions you've never been asked before tag. I don't know. I never really seen any videos about that, but I just Googled it and it popped up. So let's see what it says. What's your favorite candle scent? I don't have one. I don't have... I'm not really a big candle person. I do like um, oils, so I like a eucalyptus and um, and jasmine. I like to combine those two together. And oof, it smells so 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 good. Um, let's see the second one. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Um, my, huh. Well, I just finished watching Money Heist, Casa de Papel, and Tokyo is my girl. So I think Tokyo, I will want her to be my sister because she's like a ride or die. Love her. Um, same thing goes for the male celebrity, I guess, this question, what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Um, Denver from Money Heist. Because I think he's so, like, he's so right a guy too. And he just cares for those characters so much. If you guys haven't watched it, that is the best show to watch right now. It's literally... Sorry, I got distracted by my friend. <laughs> I can't talk and makeup at the same time. Look at that. We live and we learn. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Mm, I don't know. It can be tomorrow. It can be 10 years from now. It can be 20 years from now. It can be 5 years from now. It doesn't... I'm not really like a person that sets time limit on that stuff. I'm very go with the flow and when it happens it happens I am very very happy with my relationship right now and where we are where we stand I'm so like fulfilled and so just so happy that it can literally happen today it can literally happen five years from now it can happen 20 years from now I'll still be super excited um, do you know hoarder well, my mom kind of keeps a lot of stuff at her house because she thinks that she's going to send all of that stuff to Ecuador, which she does, but and a lot of stuff. So she sends little by little. So there's a lot of stuff that she doesn't need or nobody needs here. So I guess that's a little bit of a hoarder, but, but like the ones that you see at TLC, then no, she's not like that. Do you do the splits? Eh, no, no I do not, I'm not very athletically, um, athletic, so, <laughs> no. How old were you when you learned to ride a bike? Like, six or seven, I think. I think I remember exactly the day that I got my first bike and I learned how to ride it. I think it was when I was like six or seven in Ecuador. It was a memorable time. These questions are weird. 
How many oceans have you swam in? I don't know, like two? Does a couple of Mexico count? Two. The Atlantic and the Pacific. That's it. <laughs> How many countries have you visited? Um, not many. Not as much as I would want. Are these sisters? Well, I went to Ecuador, Colombia, Mexico, Bahamas, and that's it, I think. Venezuela for like two seconds because it was a layover. And yeah, that's it. I really want to go to pretty much everywhere, every corner of the world, but. Current pandemic is really, it's really making a hold on that. So maybe 2021, that'll be the year. Oh, is anybody in your family in the army? No. no. What will you name your daughter if you had one? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, oh, fuck. I even thought of like names or anything like that. I don't know. If you had a son, I feel like it would have to be named Sal because that's very Italian traditional way. So it would have to be Sal, just like his baby daddy. <laughs> weird to say. I don't like saying baby daddy. That's weird. What's the worst grade you got on a test? Um, worst grade I got in college was a C. Now high school, middle school, all that. Yeah, I was not the best student. I, could, I had a couple of D's. I had a couple F's here and there. But in college, oof, that, that changed that completely. When I knew that I had to pay for everything, yeah, I really buckled down and started like studying. And see. What was your favorite TV show as a kid? When I was really, really little, Barney. Barney was that show for me. But then, then it just varied. I liked a lot of like, I liked Power Rangers when I was growing up. Um, what was that show with the, with the mermaids? The H2O something show? I don't know. It was like some weird shows that they were. Um, have on just like the regular TV because we have cable. From where I remember it was that. Yeah, it was those two. These scratches are so weird. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm gonna skip some of these because these are not. These are weird. <laughs> Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? A. I would like to have a British accent, but my Spanish accent is just gonna butcher it. So I'm not even, I can't even do an American accent right. So then I'm not gonna do 50. These are weird. What's your first amusement park you've been to? Disney. Disney is my life. For anybody that knows me, Disney is just part of me, part of who I am. I think the first time I went was when I was like 15. It was like on the church group outing or something that they had. And they shut down Disney for the entire night. So only like the church people were there from like all around Florida. And it was the most magical time in the world. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back. And then the next time I came back, I came back as a cast member. So that was very, very like surreal that I went there one night and then a couple of years later I'm working I was working for the company so that was that's a very special place in my little heart what languages besides your native na native language would you like to be fluent in um, I think I think I have to go with French I did take French 1 and French 2 in high school. I did not learn a single thing. 
you guys, Jim and Pelly on my legs. Okay. Bonjour. And uh, that's it. So I really want to perfect um, French. A little goal of mine while we're all stuck at the house. Maybe learn a little a new language or something. You know, triplets, nope. Do you prefer Titanic or the notebook? The notebook, I feel like. It's pretty good. So, we just did the eyebrows and put my entire face with, well not my entire face, but with concealer. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and play with some colors. So we just recombine this one, this one. And then, just kinda wing it. I wing it every single time I do my makeup. Just try to put a bunch of colors together and then see see how that goes. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna call her. Hola. Mami. ¿Qué pasó? Um, si tú te has dado cuenta que yo no que yo no era niña, pero yo era un niño en tu estómago, que yo que qué nombre tú me hubiese dado? sleep with the timer on the TV so we usually fall asleep with two parks and rec <laughs> do you eat breakfast every morning yes 
I have to. I'm, every morning I wake up, I'm starving. So I need to have a full breakfast every morning. Or I'll get cranky. What's the last compliment you got? Um, well, I get a lot of compliments for um, my boyfriend every day. <laughs> but that's just him being cute. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Yes, very vividly. Like, and I have weird ones too. I don't know why, but I just have the most crazy, elaborate, like movie making type of dreams that whenever I wake up, I'm just like, okay, what just happened? And why was I watching the night before that I'm dreaming of all this stuff? But there's a lot up here, a lot of imagination. What flavor tea do you enjoy? Mm, I like the mint teas and I like those passion fruity teas. Oh, they're so they're so good. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Like a good 20, 20 to 30, maybe. That's not that many. What religion will you raise your children to practice? I will just teach them the basic stuff that I learned, the basic stuff that my boyfriend learned growing up. And then if they want to get into religion, they can. If not, then they don't have to. Just, I guess we'll teach them whatever we know. And if they want to go through that route, they can. But yeah, we're not very religious ourselves. So whatever they want to do, honestly. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? And I think I was like around like six-ish. Yeah, I remember overhearing my sister and my mom talking about like, oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bring the the presents out. And I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like is Santa gonna like come right now, right now? And then they just like ignored me and they started decorating the tree that same night with the tree with the all the presents and some of them say Santa and I was like okay I guess you guys bought it and then the conversation was never like they pretty much just ignore me they're like okay yeah Santa gave you this El Niño Divino gave you this and I'm just like okay and then it was just never talked about after that I was like okay I guess it's not real whatever but I wasn't like hurt about it I was just like okay whatever do you have a vlog? No. But I have a YouTube channel. Okay. Let's see. Let's finish off this look. By putting this all over my face. And after that, we should pretty much be done. I don't do much after this. I just kind of blend, 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 until I can blend no more. What are you listening to right now? Uh, well, I don't think I can put that copyright, but that if you by Bad Bunny. It's my jam right now. Well, all his songs are my jam. I love them. Do you buy your ice cream or just lick it? I lick my ice, the ice cream, no? Right? I mean, I bite it sometimes. When I, when I just want ice cream and I, I don't know. I guess I do both. Is that psychotic? There's a good chance that's defined you as a psychopath, but I feel like people do both and they just don't admit it. I think those are all the questions that I was able to pull up and answer. And now I'm just gonna add some highlight. Finish off this everyday look. I think that's a 
have complained look. So let me just So yeah guys this is my complete look. Um I had so much fun filming this and I'm so glad that you guys got to know me a little bit and yeah just be ready because I'm gonna be starting this new journey so I'm really really excited and I guess I don't know what they say like like it subscribe it comment it let me know if it's good if it's bad if it's ugly or whatever but yeah I'm so excited bye guys <laughs>